Silver has been trading over $30 an ounce, breaking a long-awaited threshold after years of anticipation. What's driving that today, and where does it lead from here? Stay tuned. We're currently experiencing decade highs in the spot price of silver, with silver trading regularly above $32 an ounce at the time of filming. This represents a 35% rise in just three months, giving silver investors a lot to celebrate. Silver's movement into the $30 range was telegraphed well in advance, as we noted in one of our April videos titled, Did the Catalyst for $30 Silver Just Happen? And we reference this video because in it we detail some of the forces driving a rally over $30, and how that same logic could apply to future silver price movements. We'll also look at the fundamentals and review the most recent data from the silver survey, highlight the tailwinds and headwinds associated with silver in the near future. So let's start with the fundamentals. The Silver Institute releases a survey every year that covers the main supply and demand fundamentals. Now, since 2020, we've had robust demand for silver, especially as retail silver investors pushed for a silver squeeze to occur amid rumors of diminishing inventory at the COMEX. Initially, silver demand was strong due to pandemic and lockdown fears, then buoyed after retail investors sought to reenact the GameStop short squeeze in other areas such as physical silver investment. We noted at the time it seemed unlikely to work, and eventually the demand from retail waned after three years of extraordinary growth. Now, according to the Silver Institute, net demand for silver fell 7% between 2023 and 2022, primarily from investment in physical silver. To give you an idea how large this drop was, 2022 demand was 337 million ounces, and in 2023, it was 243 million ounces. Now, this offset increased demand from other areas, such as industrial, which actually grew substantially from 588 million ounces to 654 million ounces. Now, some may wonder, if demand waned 7%, then why are prices increasing? Silver is a commodity, and commodities are priced on supply and demand fundamentals. So while silver demand eased, so did silver supply, which fell about a half percent. And total silver supply from mine production and recycling was a little over a billion ounces of silver last year, but total demand for silver was almost 1.2 billion ounces of silver. So even though demand waned a little in 2023 compared to 2022, there is still a deficit in the system that has been there since 2019 and is continuing to grow. The gap is being filled currently by above ground stocks or what you might think of as surplus from prior years when supply outpaced demand. Now we haven't had a supply shock yet, but if the deficits in mine supply and recycling remain high enough for long enough, then logically we would expect to see that impact silver prices eventually. It's just common sense that if you're using more of a material faster than you can replenish it, you will eventually run out. If the situation doesn't change, either by increasing mining or reducing demand for silver, it's a matter of time. The hard part is that no one has an accounting of how much above ground silver supply exists and is readily accessible. The main drivers for industrial demand of silver can be broken into two components, electronics and solar power, both of which are growing and expected to continue to grow. Now, silver is not only the world's most reflective metal, it's also a fantastic conductor. There's nothing else quite like it. And with billions of dollars in investment flooding the market through government spending to support the green energy economy, we don't expect to see demand in these areas decrease. And as for mining supply, well, it takes years to bring new mines online. Total mining supply has remained stable and consistent for years, shifting by only marginal amounts due to operational challenges. That leaves us with the investment piece as the main wild card in the mix, and it's the investors who have driven some of silver's recent price surges. The price of silver is tied somewhat to gold, and the gold to silver ratio is often referenced when forecasting silver price. With strong fundamentals established to give silver a higher baseline than in the past, the question is, will silver at $30 or more 
sustain, and could it go higher? The last time silver traded in the $30 range was 2011 to 2013, and that did sustain for two years before dropping into the mid-teens. Demand was even with or lower than supply for many of those years, which is not the case today. Today we have a deficit, which makes it more likely that silver will sustain. In addition, we have strong price action on gold and inflation, and gold is expected to continue to rise. So it tends to be the case that silver price follows gold's price, but it doesn't always work this way perfectly because gold and silver have different use cases. We've seen it enough though to consider the pattern reliable and it's often referenced by forecasters. So the next question is, what are forecasters saying about gold? Well, some of the more conservative forecasts assume gold will trade in a range between 2400 and 2650 by year's end. That's kind of a big range. Very few analysts seem to be calling for gold to drop below 2200 this year, and that's because the Federal Reserve cutting rates will eventually happen, and that is expected to drive gold prices up. So there are some known tailwinds that we're waiting on to see gold break through resistance levels and make it to a new trading range. Some of the more aggressive forecasts are putting gold at 2800 Everything above that we're considering not merely aggressive, but speculative. It's not impossible. You know, records are broken all the time, but is it likely? Well, we'll let you decide. Drop a comment down below if you think gold is going above 2800 this year. Now for this video, we'll assume that gold trades higher. Let's say rounding out the year around 2550, as that's a good middle point for the forecast we're seeing, and we'll assume silver continues its trend of following gold. Currently, the gold to silver ratio has dropped to a low point, and it's at the lowest it's been for the past year. Silver is trading at 72 ounces of silver to 1 ounce of gold. If silver continues to trade at 72 to 1 and gold prices rise to 2550, silver should trade at 3542 per ounce by year's end. Now, it should be noted that precious metals typically trade on longer time frames. The city analyst predicted in a Wall Street Journal that gold would reach $3,000 per ounce between October 2024 and October 2025, which could drive silver over $40 an ounce. Other banks and analysts have pointed to a $3,000 threshold as something we would more likely expect to see in 2026 or 2027 if it breaches that level at all. None of this takes into account the possibility of a silver supply shock or the depletion of above ground stocks. It does not consider the potential impact of black swan events like a global financial crisis, severe recession, or serious and consequential acts of war. So that's a lot to take in. Let's recap it. Silver has strong fundamentals, and the supply deficit that has been present since 2019 is ongoing, making it more likely the current rally will sustain gold prices are leading the way for future price momentum on silver, and most forecasters are predicting gold moves higher, with the expectation that silver spot will follow. That's all we have for you today. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.